All right, just got back from the uh, AC repair shop down in San Patang, which is south, about 20 minutes south of Hangdong. So Hangdong is half an hour south of Chiang Mai, and San Patang is half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour south of that. So it's a good 50 minutes to an hour away from the Kando uh, Um, the mighty, mighty Um. Um, knew a place that, you know, works on her cars. The guy only speaks Thai. So because she's the world's biggest sweetheart, she said, um, uh, I'll meet you at the mechanic and I'll interpret or translate for you. Like, how awesome is that? Because it's a local place back off the road. It's not on GPS or <laughs> any of that stuff, you know. When uh, talking about going native, it's native. Uh, but the, obviously they have better prices. They don't. They don't charge Farang tax because they usually don't deal with Farang because you can't find them, you know, unless you know about them. They're off the beaten trail, but that's where she takes her cars and her family's cars. Anywho, um, I'm new to the auctions and I've been to three. There's dealers here that have been to 300 or 3,000. And uh, I learned one of the tricks of the trade today. If, um, like in real estate, you'd go to a house with the lockbox code, right? And you'd open up the lockbox and there'd be no key because the person who wants to buy the house or as a customer who wants to buy a house would take the freaking key saying, no, you can't show my house. It's not their house yet. They don't have a contract accepted, but yeah, they're playing games. <clears throat> and you got to call the listing agent and say they stole the key. They're like, oh my God, I'll get another one there in an hour, blah, 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 blah. I don't know about you, but for me, when that happened, it, it made me more determined to buy that house. There's the fact that this jerk off was fucking around with the key, right? So apparently, <laughs> a thing here, <laughs> or maybe this is an isolated incident, um, is a dealer who wanted my truck. When they came and opened the hood and all the guys are milling around looking at it, I made sure it started and then I walked away. Well, at some point after the hood was open and before it came up for auction, the dealer took a relay from the fuse box and moved it. And in doing so, he, he killed the clutch for the compressor on the AC. So when I get in the truck and I start it and I turn on the AC, it doesn't work. Well, sure it does if you take the relay out of the third brake light and move it over to the AC clutch, right? Move it from like number 22 to 16 on the little, you know, chart on the inside of the thing. Of course, you'd have to know, Rangers pretty well to know that you were disabling the AC and putting it in the third brake light. Now, the reason we figured this out, there's no third brake light on that Ranger. <laughs> so there was no need for a relay to be in that slot. It should have been up one notch up, one row up in the AC compressor. So once we found the AC compressor, which I actually found on the internet, uh, the guy knows Japanese cars because that's what he mostly works on, uh, cars and trucks Japanese. But with the Ford, I looked it up on my phone. And once I saw where the spot was, where the relay was supposed to be for the AC compressor so he could check it, we saw it was missing. He took the one from the third brake light and put it in. I'm like, at least I got AC. I'll go to the dealer to get the, the speakers, you know, for the side mirrors, and I'll get another relay, and I'll be, you know, be good, or, you know, take the horn out and put that in the third brake light, whatever. And then we look in the back of the truck, and there's no third brake light. <laughs> so <laughs> the dealer had done that. So, um, the last uh, problem with the truck is either the dealer or the old owner took a, a plug, a harness, a wire underneath the seat. Uh, so, it's throwing a seat belt restraint code. So, I need a little piece of the, there's like a, a harness with a plastic, you know, receptor, like a female plug that, that goes in, and that will shut off the restraint error code and the airbag light so to get that to clear that light i need that piece which i'll notify the dealer today i need that and they should have that in a day or two along with the speakers and the center cap um i did get a center cap off of lazada which is the amazon but you know as usual when you order anything from china 
it's charcoal gray and my tr the truck is silver the wheels are silver the center cap should be silver so I can either spray paint it not or just get one from the dealer for you know three dollars or whatever for the little center cap so that's that um, so I'm very very happy I don't need a new compressor I thought it was just a charge and then I thought it was the compressor that's what the oil change place told me but the reason the compressor is not working is because the, the fuse the relay which is a big fuse uh, was purposely changed over by the old owner because he knew it was getting repossessed or one of the dealers at the auction pulling a little trick so nobody would buy the truck because um, you know, A, he's got an airbag A, he's got an airbag light B, it has uh, no AC well, because of the relay and because of the missing buckle so cheap fixes, I'm very happy about that it could have been a lot worse so I'm excited